welcome to day two of the Milwaukee Beer Review Advent Calendar Series of 2022. As always, I am Josh. I'm Ross. And we are back with the Three Cellars Advent Calendar today for day two of Advent as we push towards Christmas Eve and all the goodies and more beer that likely comes along with it. So... Um, again, we are doing the three sellers advent calendar this year. It was a lot of fun last year when Ross did it. We chose to all get together and do that this year. So, um, uh, Tyler's not joining us for this episode, but hopefully for a few more episodes in the future. Shall we dive into my box yeah, and see what we're I'm, getting? I'm excited to see what you think of this one. So. Okay, so Ross again knows what we're drinking yep. already. I have not checked the box yet, so... Um, I did kind of open it, but I did not peek. Let's see what we get here. Oh. Yeah. Rum Run Gingerbread Porter from Phase 3. So you know it's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, 6.5%. What is a Rum Run? I mean, I'm guessing it's, it's just going to be a... What's that? Oh, is it? I didn't say Rum. Oh, it does say run, 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 yeah, run, run, gingerbread run. Thank you. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, yeah. So it's a gingerbread porter. I'm guessing it's going to be like gingerbread flavors, maybe some cinnamon. Like, you think it's going to be gingerbread flavor? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm what going on out, earth? <laughs> I'm going out on a limb here, and I'm just going to assume <laughs> there's going to be some gingerbread bread flavor in this. I would hope so. <laughs> Yeah, and Phase 3 is out of Chicago, I believe, right? Yeah, they are Chicago. Uh, Lake Brewery. Zurich. Lake Zurich, yeah. Illinois, yeah. Well, it's a very Christmas-looking can. Yep. Run, run, gingerbread boy. A little hard to read, but... And he's so yeah. cute. Look at how cute he is. Aw. Maybe Aww, running away from being eaten, though. Or... Or drinking? Drinking? Added to the beer? Yeah, it could be. There we go. Let's crack this thing open and pour it out. Guessing it's a porter, so it's going to be nice and dark. It's pretty dark. More brown than it is black. Yeah. In the Coming glass, the it looks real dark. As you pour it, you can kind of see it's a little more transparent and everything. A little bit of brown, okay. but... It's not that jet black that you sometimes get with porters. Um, good oh. carbonation, though. Yes, lots of carbonation. It's not jet black. It's dark brown. Um, I did get a whiff off the nose, and holy cinnamon gingerbread. Like, bam. Hello, Christmas. Um, let's go to the nose. Oh, yeah. There's just those Christmas spices, those gingerbread spices, or ginger spices and everything coming off that. I can't tell if I like that or not. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Of, it's got a little, like, um, I don't know if it's, like, orange or, like, a zest coming off of yeah, it. Yeah, there's, too. like, a zestiness to it, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it smells like Christmas. It really oh. does. Yeah, so, which I, which I think most people know what we're talking about. It smells like Christmas. Yeah. It, it smells like grandma made cookies. I'll bring grandma and get us again. All well, right. go a couple episodes back, folks, and you'll see why grandma <laughs> is involved. But it's like grandma made cookies. It smells almost like a there's like almost like a potpourri note to it too. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Glad. Oh. One thing I think you and I talked about this quite a bit is you know, sometimes with like those like spices, like a ginger or a cinnamon or anything, it can taste where like it's overpowering, um, where it can get kind of lost in the shuffle. Whatever that zest is kind of helps for me at least smooth it out a bit um and give a nice like kind of like basically a nice little pop to it um i'm getting like an orange zest i just can't exactly put my finger on it 
I, I'm getting that same thing. It's like a citrus zesty, yeah. zesty note over the top. Um, um, being a porter, obviously being a gingerbread porter, it's going to lose a lot of that like smokiness you get with traditional porters and everything. Like to me, this is it's very far from what you'd expect out of a porter, in my opinion. The porter, yeah, the por porter components of this are just not there. You're not getting that traditional, like, smoky, yeah. you know, kind of porter note. And it, all those spices obviously take take that over. Um, I almost wonder if this beer would have been better as, like, a, like an amber or something like that. It, to or, me, it's a little it, sweeter. It tastes more like a brown ale. Like, it almost has more yeah. brown ale characteristics than porter characteristics. Um, yeah, I think that sweetness behind an amber or even I, like a I box, want this, maybe. I, I want this to be sweeter. Like, I, I think what this beer is missing is the frosting component to the top of a gingerbread cookie. Like, it's, it's just kind of dull. And I think that's because the porter isn't really adding much to the mix here and you're just getting like gingerbread spice and that mm. zest but it's missing like the the creaminess and the sugary sweetness um that you get with a gingerbread cookie as well i would agree no maybe that's because the gingerbread cookie ran away and just maybe he just i don't know finish it up <laughs> Maybe he just pooped in here. I don't know. Okay. Who knows what? Who knows what the gingerbread man did? He's right. Well, like we've had beer that has ginger in it before too, and ginger is a very hard flavor, for my opinion, in beer because it's such a polar opposite of what you're supposed to get with a beer. Um, it 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 sometimes just doesn't mix well. I'm not saying they did this one poorly at all. I think they did a decent job mixing that flavor and it in. It's just it's it's a really tough flavor, and it can kind of be overpowering when you start drinking in the beer yep okay so you're putting this in on tap you've got a christmas beer in front of you where are you putting it i'm i'm gonna put this about three i think it's it's may if you i think someone could, i see people who really enjoy this for me it's just not really my style um i like it i enjoy it but i don't see myself like ordering it again i guess um so i got about a three I think I'm going to go around a 2.5 on this. Um, this is just not my jam. And again, like I said, I, I wish it had more of that sweet character to it because I think I might like it a little bit more. Mm. This is, I, I respect this in the box as a Christmas beer. I think it's a great ad and it belongs here for sure. Um, so not a miss on Three Cellars part for including this, but I think the no. beer itself... Um, is lacking to me. No, so yeah, I'm gonna that's, go. That's I think I'm it's well made beer. It's it's not our style. It's not really what we enjoy. Um, you know, so you know. okay. Well, another episode in the bag. Twenty two more to go. Um, it's gonna be a fun month, Ross. Yeah, I'm excited. Start off good so far. I like the where they're going with this. So. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So stick around for 22 more of these. We'll be hitting you back up again this weekend, a.k.a. tomorrow, um, for day three. So we'll see you all in the next one, and we look forward to spending some time with you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, everyone.